Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, today I'm gonna to share with you my May monthly manis. I had a really good month that month. First, let me show you what's on my nails because I always get questions. I always forget to put in, my, in the description box. So I'm wearing Orly's Kaleidoscope Eyes as the base and then as my topper, Fancy Gloss Ranger. Really pretty, I love this combo. Okay, so the first polish I wore was Zoya's Celestia. Really pretty and sparkly. Look at that flash. Really pretty. I'm planning to wear the China Glaze one that I have. That's very similar. If you watched, I did that Oops Are They Dupes video a while back. I plan on wearing the China Glaze soon. I had wanted to wear one on each hand, and I just wasn't able to. I don't know. I don't remember why I wasn't able to do that, but I wasn't able to wear one on each. I think... I forget, I don't know. I think I was going to work. I did my nails before I went to work and in case they looked completely different on the nails, I didn't want to have like two different nails going to work. I thought it was weird. But anyway, so I do plan on wearing the China Glaze. I have a feeling I'm gonna like the China Glaze better. This one is pretty, I did like this one. Okay, then I did a twin with Lisa. It was Zoya's Perry, which I haven't worn this one in years. This is so pretty. I'm really into orchids at the moment, as you can tell. Like I'm really into these orchid type polishes and this is just, an oldie but a goodie and then we topped it with kb shimmer yes weekend one of their beautiful flaky toppers so this is pretty i like this one okay then i did a friendship for the twin with nicole you wore zoya's leslie isn't that pretty love leslie another like soft orchidy violet purple so pretty okay then i did another twin with lisa we wore orly's artist garden First of all, I love this green. Orly is just killing it with creams lately. I'm just so into Orly creams at the moment. And this one is so pretty. And then we topped it with, it has a beautiful formula. We topped it with um, Colors to Carol Confetti. Look at that pretty little flaky topper. And this was really nice, I liked this. Although to be honest, and I don't always say this with flaky, like with toppers, but I almost, liked it better on its own. That's just how much I'm like really loving creams and this cream was so pretty. And I almost felt like this, it didn't, but I almost felt like it took away from the prettiness of the cream. Okay, then I did a twin with Barb. These are both, both of these polishes were in my whole collection project that we're doing, a bunch of us are doing. So we wore Night Owl Lacquer's Feeling Naughty pretty rich saturated blue so pretty and then i chose to wear a topper i wore polish for days rainbows end pretty gold topper and this was really nice i really love this this was so rich and with these gold flakies the like gold rainbow flakies on top was just so pretty really enjoyed this one okay then i did another twin with lisa it was like a three polish combo that i did so we wore dippin dots cool mint we're slowly going through the whole Dippin' Dots collection. This is one of, there's two. This one and then the Peachy Coral one are my two favorite of the whole collection. This one is just beautiful. I absolutely loved this soft mint green. So beautiful. And then on top, we wore Fair Maiden's Iced. Now, I got this polish because of Carolina. Um, she's been talking about this, talking about it. It's her favorite topper. I think she said it's like one of her favorite top polishes of the year, maybe, or I think maybe she got it last year, but anyways. So I finally decided to pick this up, and it is so pretty. And then as a little extra sparkle, which really, with this, I really didn't need it, but, you know, sometimes I feel like being extra. I wore um, China Glaze. I don't know why I'm looking. I know what it's called. It's Fairy Dust. <laughs> I wore China Glaze Fairy Dust on top. So this was like a little trio. And this was really pretty, really sparkling, beautiful. And I definitely want to wear this again on my toes. This is just so pretty. Okay, then I did a really beautiful combo. I loved this combo. I wore OPI's Was It All Just a Dream? I believe, yeah, this was part of my project polish, whole collection project polish. So beautiful. It's like a bluey mint green. It looks green here, but when you put it with greens, it looks blue. Like, see, it pulls blue. And then when you put it with blues, it looks green. This is just so beautiful. And then as a topper, I wore Island P Compass. So beautiful. This looked like turquoise. It was just absolutely gorgeous. I love this many. Pretty sure it's going to end up being in my favorites of the year. 
at the end of the year. So pretty. Okay, then I wore a combo that I did not love. Um, another polish that was in my product, I wore a lot of my um, whole collection project polishes this month. Um, Wildflower Lacquer Chirp Off Chickadee, which I do not like on the nails. That pretty green flash just pulls so yellow on my nails. It's one of those polishes. Any polish that has, I sh should know better by now not to buy them, that has like the gold, goldy shimmer in them. It ends up just making my nails look dirty and yellow, and I just, I don't like the strong yellow shimmer. So I wore this, and then to kind of just like mask the yellow shimmer so it doesn't just look like dirty nails, I wore a topper, I wore Glam Polish. The weather outside is frightful. This topper is beautiful, first of all. Look at that flash. If you can hear that, sorry, that's my dog. He's chewing on the box over in the corner. It's got that gorgeous flash and it's got all those beautiful flaky This is so pretty. Now, overall, I did like this Manny because the topper saved it, but I just, I didn't love it and I could definitely see myself passing this along to a friend at some point in like a swap. So love this, I'll definitely wear this one again, but I don't see myself ever wearing that polish again. Okay, then I did a group Manny with five fabulous friends. My son graduated high school, and then my youngest son, you know, is going into high, is going into high school, and then Julie's son um, is graduating. He's going into middle school, I believe. So, as a group, we decided to do graduation manis, um, whatever inspiration we took from graduation. So, I chose my son's colors. Both of them have gray and purple in them. So, I chose to do a gray and purple combo. So, I have. Nida Lacquer's Hyrule Castle, which is perfect because it's like a smoky purpley gray base. And then it's got those purple flakes. And then to be a little extra, I wore Hollow Other Things on top. And this was really pretty sparkly. Okay, and then the last mani of the month that I wore was another twin with Lisa. Again, we're going through the different dots. So we wore Strawberry Swirl, which is a bright, fun pink. And then on top, because I love like when you have bright colors, I love wearing black and white toppers. So we wore Think Outside the Box by Finger Paints. One of my favorite. But I think this is the only black and white topper I have, to be honest. Like black and white topper. Love this. It's like my second bottle. And this was so pretty. Okay, and then the last thing I wore was on my toes. I wore Orly's Scenic Route. Scenic Root. So this is like a more bright version of Kaleidoscope Eyes. And this was really pretty. This is actually faded quite a bit. Caroline and I were talking about this. Um, hers, she's only worn it once, and then she went to wear it again, and it was completely faded. And I was like, well, I haven't worn mine in probably like two years, so I pulled mine out to put on the toes. And I was going to try, honestly, I feel like looking at like a bunch of swatches online, and then even looking at my original swatch, I feel like mine has faded too. Anyways, I still enjoyed it. That was nice. All right, guys, that was everything I wore in May. Um, please leave any comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.